Hello everyone, Daniel here from the Next Issue Podcast. On today's video, I'll be doing a review of Archer and Armstrong Forever, number one. This is a book from Valiant. Um, let me talk a little bit about the creative team before we get into my backstory with these characters and uh, just the review in general. Uh, this is written by Steve Fox with art by Marcio, Frito, uh, Marcio Fiorito, colors by Alex Guimaraes, and letters by Hassan Osmani Elahu. Uh, so when Armstrong seemingly loses his immortality, Archer refuses to let his best buddy go gentle into that good night. But when you live millennia, you rack up plenty of enemies who will be thrilled to find out you're no longer indestructible. Archer and Armstrong gloat the running quest for more immortality begins here. Um, so in the past, I have tried to read the Archer and Armstrong titles or the ANA or, you know, they've gone through different names. I've never really connected with the characters. Uh, but this book does a good job with two things, in my opinion. Uh, first of all, it reintroduces the characters very well. You get to learn about Archer and Armstrong, who they are, how they differ. Uh, and it does that through a very, I mean, overall, very comedic uh, way as well. Um, I think that's one of the things that can be off-putting about this these, these characters in particular. They're not very serious, right? So if, if that comedy is not your bag from, from any of those other titles... Um, I think you'll have a hard time getting through it. But this one, I, I found this book really entertaining overall. Um, and then just, I love the introduction of both of the characters. Uh, they give you pretty much everything you need to know in the first couple of pages to understand who these guys are. Uh, and then we get into the crux of it immediately. Like, you know, Archer gets into a fight, uh, and that's kind of where everything starts going on. They give you a little bit of a, uh, just like how, his powers are supposed to work or how his immortality is supposed to work. Um, and they just introduce these like really weird uh, characters or antagonists that make no sense because they're just there to kind of drive the story forward. They're not really, I don't think they're really the big bad of the story. Um, but yeah, I mean, this book was a lot of fun. I love the premise that, you know, one of the ways you can make an immortal character uh, interesting is by slowly taking away their immortality. Um, so, because there's so much, like, you know, there's so many ways they can go with that. Uh, but I'm interested to see how they make me maybe take a different twist on this or um, how, how in this case, um, Archer and Armstrong, Armstrong kind of have each other. Uh, like, that's also the, the difference here, right? It's not, like, just this immortal character that's on their own. Uh, so... Yeah, I'm very excited. I like I said I don't read much of Archer and Armstrong, so this is a I feel like this is a good introduction to the book for everyone. Uh, and I've really enjoyed everything that Valiant has been doing in the comic side. We've talked about the other side with the NFTs and all that stuff that don't really don't really support that. But but overall, yeah, in the comics, I think they've been really killing it. They got some really fun stuff coming up in the fall. Uh, and this is just another title that's gonna get us through the summer, uh, leading up to their um, their big, big event, uh, Book of Shadows. So let me know if you picked this up and you enjoyed it. Uh, there's some really cool covers that I'll show you at the end of the book. Uh, but as always, thanks for watching, everyone. Remember to share, like, subscribe. Hit the bell so you know when we go live. That is most Sundays, 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. And stay tuned because we have more trailer reactions, comic reviews, movie reviews, all that good stuff coming to the channel. So as always, thanks for watching, everyone. Bye-bye.